Shanti King Matawama Ulira. You are Lipa Mak Ingo Kun. Dahu Babo Tinya Go Juju Biti. Just Grunty Do Patslimo. I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. But why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Starforge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. In fact, it could be anything. Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Starforge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. Uh, there must be some mistake. Must be talking about poor Nemo. The council sent him here to investigate. And it 
cost him his life. Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us.
What can I do? Sure. Thank you. 
be what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. This is a, a map. Some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. I, I don't know, but Revan and Malik were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type. Or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more. But I think this map might be the key to finding the Starforge. Whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek and Tatooine, and here's Manan. But there are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Star Forge itself might be. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Starforge, and some way to destroy it. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action, though I suspect our task has only just begun. Now those Mandalorians know what it's like to be hunted, but now that you've killed some of them, they won't stop until you've defeated their leader. You must find him and kill him too. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. Again, I thank you. I will be sure to tell the council of your great deed.
returned, young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? This news of a Starforge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Starforge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan. You have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi, no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Starforge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Starforge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Starforge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Starforge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Starforge. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith, but it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you. A safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. I must congratulate you on your actions. You have saved Johanni and brought her back into the Order and have given us all great hope for your future success. May the Force be with you as you continue your training. You must not fail in your mission. Find the star maps that lead to the Star Forge. This is the only way to stop Malak and his Sith followers. You and Bastila are the galaxy's last desperate hope. But beware that dark side. Bastilla will guide you, but she herself is young and new to the ways of the Jedi. You must help her as much as she helps you. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. Greetings, young Padawan. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it, or so they say. As chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, 
I find your quest for knowledge admirable, but I do not want to overwhelm you with the long history of the Jedi Order. You should ponder the history of Revan. It contains many lessons you may need if we hope to defeat Malak and the Sith. May the Force be with you. May the Force be with you in your quest. Tachumjustachmiki Mogesha <laughs> Kiyinu <laughs> Kachikun ida hodonga, ye king kuno ba mulerachikun. We ita nan dayata. What are you ma wama huhu nandetek? Runda di hodonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tunking ba no. Kachikun ida hodonga, ye king kuno ba mulerachikun. Kachikun ida hodonga, ye king kuno ba mulerachikun. We ita nan dayata. What are you ma wama huhu nandetek? Ah, shatung ni runda di hodonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tunking ba nunotek. Kachikun ida hodonga, ye king kuno ba mulerachikun. Slimo podonar, runda di hodonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tunking ba nunotek. We ita nan dayata. What are you ma wama huhu nandetek? Ah, shatung ni patoga. Kachikun ida hodonga, ye king kuno ba mulerachikun. Kachikun ida hodonga, ye king kuno ba mulerachikun. Ah, hakupa cheko. Jedu ba the one and. Ye kukuno no ba. Chi gratu loda pograshi on neon comba chin tombo mochuba. Loda ida kun ida patisa batua. Ka chi kun ida hodonga i king kuno ba. Takom jus dach mikig. Takom jus dach. How can I help? 
No, not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Necessary, perhaps, but it is no guarantee of our success. I admit, I'm a little disturbed that such a bond could be possible in the first place. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. I was referring to the bond we share, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. If I was actually interested in you, rest assured I could come up with a much better approach than this. Don't worry, these are simple questions, nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? Good. On which planet were you born? Excellent. Your current age is? Yes. Well, the truth is, I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to absorb. We can speak again later. After you've had time to think about all this, 